Hi, welcome to EdTech Moment, where we take just a moment to show you how to quickly integrate technology into your classroom. I'm your host, Bill Selleck, and today we're going to be looking at shared folders within Dropbox. You already know about Dropbox Basics and Dropbox Public Folder, but today we're going to look at the shared folder. That's what it looks like. Here's why shared folders will change your life. First of all, it's an easy way for your students to submit work and for you to submit revisions back and forth. If you want to give them a rubric, drop it in the shared folder, and whatever is in that folder automatically shows up on your folder and in their folder within Dropbox. So I'll show you how to share that, but once it's shared, everything's the same. If they give you a Word file, quite different from Google Docs, not as good as Google Docs because it's hard to sync. Shared folders will help with that. If you track revisions and just save, they automatically have the updated version. In fact, if you have a student saving within that and they click save every 10 seconds, it'll show up as that re revised saved version over and over and over. It, it syncs just right away. One of the downsides of this is it affects both accounts. So if you share a one gig file to a student and they have just the free version and haven't upgraded it in any way, that's going to take up half of their space. So be aware of how much you're sharing and just know that it affects both of the accounts. So let me show you what this looks like with shared folders inside of my Dropbox folder on my desktop. Let's take a look at EdTech Moment. If you look carefully, you can see there's that shared icon, which is different from just a regular folder icon. If I want to change sharing, I right click, Apple People Control click, and I can share this. It's going to open up my web browser and show me the different options. If I want to invite different people, I can do that, give them a message, or it just shows you who is sharing that folder. If Tim shared it with the wrong email address, he could actually invite me with a different email address if I have a different Dropbox email. So that's a way to get around it if you send it to a student's school email address but they already have Dropbox installed with a personal email, you can email them again. And even though it's not technically a different member, that's how Dropbox looks at it. You can see that most of my folders inside Dropbox are shared if you get in there really close. If you need to have several computers have the same information, like in a computer lab, and you don't want to deal with a shared folder, this was for Project Think that I helped out with last year. Last summer I had 30 computers and didn't want to have to deal with a network drive. So I shared it with, I created just a Dropbox account for Project Think and shared it with myself so that whatever was on my personal computer inside of this one folder also showed up there. So you can see we had different things that students wrote about that automatically shows up within that shared folder. So everyone gets exactly the same folder the same way. One thing you want to be careful with when you share folders with students especially older students that aren't quite as tech savvy. I have a folder shared for each one of my students. You need to make sure that the folder they put their documents inside of is the one that's shared. You want them just to put it in Dropbox. They might drag it there and say, I submitted my assignment. You want to make sure that they open up the folder that's shared. You might even show them this video to help them out. So you can see within this, I actually create several folders, and as long as it's within that one shared folder, they see everything there. So when she submitted her research summary, it shows up there, and when I gave her the rubric, it shows up there, and it's automatically synced between both of our accounts, both here on our desktop in Dropbox and within Dropbox.com. So if you have a student that's not online or doesn't have their own computer, but they can get on Dropbox.com, they can still access that shared folder. You can watch this tutorial and all of our tutorials at edtechmoment.com. You can email me, bill at edtechmoment.com, or if you have any feedback or questions for us, feedback at edtechmoment.com. Also, be sure and check us out on Twitter, at edtechmoment. I'm Bill. Thanks for taking a moment.